Hey there Babylonians, it's Songs of Rays back with another legendary guide out of today we are bringing you the pump action shotgun called the Body Snatcher. Now it's very unique looking uh, in pretty much its wood design, but the fact that it's also got a skull with glowing green eyes blazed into the top of it is just remarkable, it really is, and uh, once again, props to people can fly with their gun creation on this. Uh, but you're not here for me to, to hear me constantly going on about that. You're here to be able to listen to the tier 3 mod. Now, the tier 3 mod for this one is very, very unique, and I would love to be able to find a way to get this to practically work. So, tier 3 mod is called the Body Snatcher, where killing shots teleport another enemy to the place where the previous one died and works within a 25 meter radius of the target. Now, this refreshes every single half a second, which is great, because by the time you've killed that target that's just teleported in front of you, it will teleport another one and so forth and essentially how it works is you just constantly aim in one particular area and you just that's all you do you just focus there you don't need to worry about moving your mouse it's just nice and simple there's your target kill it there's your target again and it, it does it does the job perfectly um it's just a case of because it's not a mod that actually uh, adds extra damage it doesn't quite fit into the top tier kind of echelon um but it does work into some very fun builds, um, and I, I would like to find a, way, a nice way to be able to actually get this tier 3 mod to show it off to its fullest. Now I am going to apologise in advance for this one because I struggle to get this gun to work really well on my Technomancer. It, uh, the, the gun itself is pretty strong. Um, the Technomancer build that I've got is pretty strong, but everyone kind of knows that the Technomancer is built for long range, uh, and to then force them to be able to do close range uh, and just try and succeed in there, it just doesn't quite work, unfortunately. Um, so you are going to see a couple of failures, but um, the, the main point is that the gameplay actually shows off what the gun can do and what the mod actually does, um, so I've left that in just for that. Um, so what you will have seen in the gameplay is every time that a killing blow happens, you'll see this little red swirl, um, and that is the indication that you're going to have an enemy spawn there. Um, you know, you, you see it very quickly, it's very brief, um, you don't have much time to react to it, but you know that, that there's going to be an enemy there. So you do get some kind of visual representation that's going to be the case. Now, unfortunately, what the mod does, it doesn't really specify and it doesn't distinguish between what targets it should pull in. Uh, and that can be a problem because if, obviously, you know, te Devastators and te uh, uh, tricksters are designed for close range combat which is great um, but what you're not expecting is when you kill a small ad and then all of a sudden the elite then pops up in your face and we're talking like the um, the four legged ones and the brood mothers and all that kind of thing all of a sudden you've now got a problem you've got a threat that's in your face and that's I, I wish they would rework that a bit to be able to not pull in the elites but I don't know if that's just me personally just talking from a technomancer kind of perspective I, I don't like the idea that you can kill something that you know is squishy and then all of a sudden be on the verge of instant death because there's something in your face that you weren't expecting um, and I, I, it would be nice if they had like a little tier system in there to be able to say um, you, you've killed a squishy uh, and it, it works through the squishies to then bring in the elites to then work its way up to there so that the elites are like the last priority for that kind of gun. Um, I feel like that would probably be a nice little change and make it a little bit consistent rather than just getting a random bag of what's actually going to appear in front of you but uh, either way the mod works as it should do. Um, just like 90% of the mods that are in this game should do. Um, but it, it, to, to be able to get it to that next tier, to be able to actually talk about it in the same kind of respect as we talk about Fortress, to talk about Embalm's Rage, to talk about uh, Killing Spree and all that kind of thing, it does need to be a bit more consistent or it needs to add some kind of damage element or something unique that actually brings it into that. And I just don't feel like it has it at the moment, but it is definitely fun to play around with and I think that's the main selling point of using this gun. So is this gun going to make it into top tier? Is it going to be meta all of a sudden? And no, the answer is quite clearly no it's not. But is it going to be one of the most fun guns that you could possibly use just to, just to try out, just to mess around in this game and I do feel like it is there it is there up there for like possibly top three for that kind of respect. Um the idea of just pulling anything in front of you is great. I don't think the mod is 
best for this gun. I don't think using a, sh a shotgun to pull things right in front of your face is, is a good idea. Uh, on paper, it's brilliant uh, because the shotgun would then deal with every single threat. But the fact that you can put this on like an AR or an LMG or something like that, you can shoot things at a distance uh, and then it will work from the 25 meters of where you've shot the thing to then pull another one in. Um, as long as you're using a... A fairly accurate kind of gun, maybe like a burst rifle AR, um, just constantly pulling things from cover into your into your range and all that kind of thing. I think that's probably the best way to go. Um, especially that might be the only way I can get a Technomancer to actually use this mod quite quite well, um, because obviously everyone knows that the Technomancer's got a certain cutoff where the, it becomes long range damage, and that's where they benefit from. They you know, they deal a lot more damage at that point. Um, so. The idea would be to find the sweet spot, kill an enemy that's at that sweet spot, teleport another enemy into that sweet spot, and just constantly keep pulling people into there. And I suppose that will probably be the quickest way to actually get some of these runs done as well. Um, unfortunately, because it doesn't add that damage, it's kind of a bit pointless in that kind of case. But it would be fun to mess around with. That's that's that's. I think that's the main thing. And not all guns have to be made equal to be able to be at that top tier. But I do feel like this one is fun. I think it's unique and the way the gun looks is brilliant. Um, once again, can't get past that. So yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd recommend it. I'd recommend giving it a go. Um, but I do think the mod is probably the most fun aspect of this gun and the shotgun itself is possibly one that you could get rid of. So to sum it all up, mod is fun but it's not CT15 worthy in my eyes. But that's, that shouldn't stop you. I feel like you should just uh, try every single mod in this game just to get a feel for it and just have a mess around, especially at those lower tiers, just to, oh, I, I mean, it's a game at the end of the day, you're supposed to enjoy it, so feel free, whack it on there, get rid of the gun, I would scrap this one over keeping the gun, so, yeah, and that is everything, so I hope you've enjoyed this game, I'm sorry about the gameplay, but obviously it will get better from there, due to the fact that I'm not going to be doing shotguns as much, um, but yeah, if I will see you on the next video, I hope you keep yourself safe, keep yourself well, and see you next time, thanks guys!